the failure of the district to keep me safe. Harsh words for SAC Unified School leaders. A former vice principal now suing the district. She says multiple complaints of racist attacks went unanswered, leaving her unprotected. CBS 13's Marley Ginter is live at the state capitol where community leaders rallied around her tonight. Marley. Well, Tony and Elizabeth, a powerful call for action out here today to end what some call an era of hate. A former Sacramento vice principal says she was blackballed and blacklisted, that she lost a new job because she spoke up. She says that she couldn't become a school principal after her resignation over racism went public. My career, being with the children I love, my students and my staff, it's all down the drain. I've been blackballed and blacklisted. Dr. Elise Fersher says Sacramento City Unified School leaders failed to keep her safe from racist attacks by parents and students. A post online shows a monkey over her family picture. She also found the N-word scrawled across her parking spot at West Campus High multiple times. Written five times. The former vice principal turning her pain into action. After resigning, she's now suing the district and West Campus principal John McMeekin. I begged, I beat it with Superintendent Aguilar to please intervene on my behalf more times than you can count. Last week, Superintendent Aguilar announced an investigation did in fact show Fersher was the target of racist acts. The superintendent said the district is committed to addressing racism, but that the investigation didn't uncover those responsible. Meantime, Fersher says her complaints were never taken seriously. What is your response when people say you're exaggerating, you're just pulling the race card? There is no imaginary card that I possess that's a race card that I will pull out for this type of dehumanization that I've, I've experienced. How long do we have to be beaten, shot, scarred, mirrored, and, and, and racist graffiti being put in our face before someone says enough is enough? Several community activists now rallying behind Versher calling for change, including anti-black hate legislation. It would hold people accountable for racial terrorism and harassment. Absolutely. But stand and show support to every educator, every black woman who wants to be a principal that is experiencing the trauma that I have had to experience working in Sac City. A lot of emotion out here today. District officials tell me they have not received the lawsuit yet, so they could not comment. Meantime, Virtue's attorneys are calling for a district-wide investigation, saying racism extends beyond West Campus High.